Today is the 3rd of December. Welcome to Walking the Way. My name is Ray. I also want to say welcome to that wonderful time of year known as Advent, when we look forward to Christmas and the birth of Jesus. And so Advent will be the focus of our devotions for the next few weeks. I just want to say thank you to everyone for listening in as we continue to explore what it means to have a regular rhythm of worship together. And if you're joining us for the first time, let me explain that each episode follows a simple pattern of prayer, scripture and music. So without any more preamble, let's start today's leg of walking the way with our opening prayer. Let's pray, shall we? In this advent of expectation, draw us together in unity, that our praise and worship might echo in these walls and also through our lives. In this advent of expectation, draw us together in mission, that the hope within may be the song we sing and the melody of our lives. In this advent of expectation, draw us together in service, that the path we follow may lead us from a stable to a glimpse of eternity. We're going to have our first piece of music just to give us some time to think about where God is today, and after the music we're going to get into our Bible readings. Let's begin with our prayer of revelation, shall we? As we open our ears, we also open our hearts, that these words of truth may fall upon the very fabric of our lives. Lord, may these ancient scriptures come alive within us, to inspire, to heal, to cleanse, to teach, to restore and to guide our hearts and minds. Lord, come weave your words of life in us. Amen. And our Bible readings this week are taken from the Good News Translation, and we're beginning with Amos 3, verses 1 through 11. People of Israel, listen to this message which the Lord has spoken about you, the entire nation that he brought out of Egypt. Of all the nations on earth, you are the only one I have known and cared for. That is what makes your sins so terrible, and that is why I must punish you for them. Do two people start traveling together without arranging to meet? Does a lion roar in the forest unless he has found a victim? Does a young lion growl in his den unless he has caught something? Does a bird get caught in a trap if the trap has not been baited? Does the trap spring unless something sets it off? 
Does the war trumpet sound in the city without making the people afraid? Does disaster strike the city unless the Lord sends it? The Sovereign Lord never does anything without revealing His plans to His servants, the prophets. When the lion roars, who can keep from being afraid? When the Sovereign Lord speaks, who can keep from proclaiming His message? Announce to those who live in the palaces of Egypt and Ashdod. Gather together in the hills of Samaria, and see the great disorder and crimes being committed there. The Lord says, These people fill their mansions with things taken by crime and violence. They don't even know how to be honest. And so an enemy will surround their land, destroy their defences, and plunder their mansions. 2 Peter 1, verses 12 through 21 And so I will always remind you of these matters, even though you already know them, and are firmly grounded in the truth you've received. I think it's only right for me to stir up your memory of these matters as long as I am still alive. I know that I shall soon put off this mortal body, as our Lord Jesus plainly told me. I will do my best, then, to provide a way for you to remember these matters at all times after my death. We have not depended on made-up stories in making known to you the mighty coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. With our own eyes we saw His greatness. We were there when He was given honour and glory by God the Father, when the voice came to Him from the supreme glory, saying, This is my own dear Son, with whom I am pleased. We ourselves heard this voice coming from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. So we are even more confident of the message proclaimed by the prophets. You will do well to pay attention to it because it is like a lamp shining in a dark place until the dawn breaks and the light of the morning star shines in your hearts. Above all, however, remember that none of us can explain by ourselves a prophecy in the scriptures. For no prophetic message ever came just from the human will. But people were under control of the Holy Spirit as they spoke the message that came from God. Matthew 21, 12-22 Jesus went into the temple and drove out all those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the table of the money changers and the stools of those who sold pigeons and said to them, It is written in the scripture that God said, my temple will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it into a hideout for thieves. The blind and the crippled came to him in the temple and he healed them. The chief priests and the teachers of the law became angry when they saw the wonderful things he was doing and the children shouting in the temple, Praise to David's son! So they asked Jesus, Do you hear what they are saying? Indeed I do, answered Jesus. Haven't you ever read the scripture? You have trained children and babies to offer perfect praise. Jesus left them and went out of the city to Bethany where he spent the night. On his way back to the city early next morning, Jesus was hungry. He saw a fig tree by the side of the road and went to it, but found nothing on it except leaves. So he said to the tree, You will never again bear fruit. At once the fig tree dried up. The disciples saw this and were astounded. How did the fig tree dry up so quickly, they asked. Jesus answered, I assure you that if you believe and do not doubt, you will be able to do what I have done to this fig tree. And not only this, but you will even be able to say to this hill, Get up and throw yourself into the sea, and it will. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. We're going to have our second piece of music just to give us some time to think about the bits of scripture that have caught our attention. And after the music, we're going to say our prayers for the day and our Advent prayers.
Let's pray today, shall we? Loving God, I sense that all in your creation and everything and all of us has been drawn back to your loving heart. Help me to be a person of peace, to speak about it in an uneasy world, to live it among the people you have put into my life every day. Lighten me a desire to prepare for your coming, to stand in the darkness, waiting, eager, and filled with joy. And our prayer for the time of the year. Come, Lord, your wounded world is yearning for you to come again. Come, Lord, your weary world is crying out for you to lift us up, out of our despair, our hunger, our thirst, for something better, our need for the food that will last. Come, Lord, come again. We need to begin again. Amen. And we say together the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us, now and forevermore. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. You've been listening to Walking the Way, the podcast based on the book This Day, A Wesleyan Way of Prayer, by the Reverend Dr. Lawrence Halstukey and published by Abingdon Press. All the details can be found in the show notes, including the scripture passages and credits for the prayers and everything else, really. And if you want to partner with Walking the Way, please head to www.givesendgo.com forward slash walking the way. For more information about me or the podcast, head to rayborrott.co.uk. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And you can also listen to us on TuneIn and YouTube, I believe. My name is Ray. And so until next time, I'll be here waiting as we continue walking the way.